if someone's selling you solar, they're selling you based on a business case. Mm. And that business case will say, we're going to produce this amount of energy and your maintenance cost will be whatever, some small number. But what's happening in the field is you're getting these periods of shutdown, periods of maintenance. The maintenance that we are spending is more than we're predicting on a business case. And when you bring that total cost of the lifetime cost of the system, it's much worse than what's on the business case. We were working with the New South Wales government department that was at the time, they had something like 700 assets and they were just saying, all right, these 20 assets, let's just go and inspect them. They're all over the state and they'd send a contractor out there and let's say 10 of the 20 would be completely fine and no maintenance needed to be done. And then the other 10 have some serious issues. So diagnosing the issue and then getting the equipment to go back and fix the issue, sometimes with this was another trip or two or maybe three, they're spending a lot of money trying to maintain these things. And we're like, there has to be a better way. So we started looking for something that could provide us with that intelligence. And there, there wasn't anything really that gave us the information that we wanted. So that's where we started building this Diagno product. Basically, you're saying because solar is now not a new asset anymore, their systems yeah. and larger commercial ones that have been on roofs now for 10, 15 years. That's exactly right. Therefore, really, you do need to have a maintenance regime. It's like a road. A road looks nice when you build it new and the asphalt is all hot and warm and steaming and dries down. Mm. But go on the M4 right now, after 10 years of last time it was resheeted, mm. there's so many potholes now. I'm driving along going, ooh. Yeah. So same thing with solar. There are issues that can come through. But yes. the M4 analogy is a great analogy, right? Mm. Because the issues will be identified by whoever manages the M4. Mm. But it's much better when you're collecting huge amounts of information. And that's why you get the cameras everywhere. There's apps like Waze. The users will report potholes and all sorts of different issues. And Waze can sell that information back, back to the road authority. And now they're empowered with a huge amount of information that they can go and optimize how they fix things. So that's a, I actually think that's a great analogy for sort of what we're doing. So we pull data from the inverter solar batteries, but we also typically get the installation and commissioning tests. If there's O&M or rectification actions taken, we almost always get the what was actually done on site in the costs. So we're building up these data sets and they're growing all the time. So the longer we have assets in Diagno, the more information we learn. So Diagno was built with the intention of if you've got an issue, we're going to tell you about it. And it's going to come to you in a message that you can understand. 